This fish probably doesn't want me to launch a giant metal spear through its body, but it should have thought about that before being so delicious. So I grab the fish with one hand and my knife with the other. It's time to bleed it and to brain it. I know this looks cruel, but it's actually not. It's how sushi is made, and this fish makes the most delicious sushi on earth. I mean, just look at how tasty that looks. Anyways, the reason I'm braining is because it's more ethical than letting it suffocate on the deck of a giant ship. And speaking of ships, I'm currently living on this ship in a remote part of Indonesia. We're looking for giant tuna, like this. But these mackerel are the next best thing. And if I'm being honest, they're much tastier than dog tooth tuna. They just don't look quite as cool in photos. Anyway, as usual, I brain it and bleed it. There's no question that this thing is dead. And I'm only telling you this because it's relevant to the story in a moment. Back at the mothership, as I pose for a photo, I feel the fish twitching in my hands. And after we fillet it, it's still twitching. And when we eat it as sushi, it's still twitching. Just kidding. By then, it had stopped. Thank God.